Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. We got some more Breakpoint for you here, Ghost Recon. So it's been <laughs> quite an extravaganza of ridiculousness leading up to this point. We've gotten to the point where we've got to go back and talk to Skell. Since we rescued him, everything that he asked us to do, we've done. We've rescued his engineers. We've rescued, you know, regular programmers. We've got the AI from way up here. Um, from up here, Lake Catherine, and we put them at this construction site over here. Did everything that he asked. Uh, I came across this as one of the main missions they gave us from the very beginning of the game. This is your Avenge Your Brothers in Arms. This is going after Walker, and it's pretty high level. Uh, just so happens it says I'm at the level, but I don't think I am. I don't think I'm ready for that, and that's something I want to do a little bit later. But I wouldn't mind having those guns that they show there. Not necessarily his pistols. But we're going to talk to Skell now to see what what our next thing is, right? I mean, he gave us a list. He gave us a list of three things to do. But those three things each had like 10 things. So basically we did like 30 main missions. They're, they're called main missions, but they feel like side missions. To get back to this point. So let's go talk to Skell like these two fools are doing. All right. So... Bring AI to Skell. Let's do that first, because that's Virginia. one of the things. We've got the AI. <sighs> Maddox was interesting. She's amazing, isn't she? We, um, we heard Sentinel was getting kind of rough out there. Well, yeah, you could let's say that. just say Sentinel has suffered a bit of a setback. Folks out there are doing better now. Great. You have no idea how much this little piece of metal and plastic and silicon is going to help. Man, I still don't trust him. Let me know if you make any more progress. All right, so we brought the AI back to scale right there. That's one of the main missions. The other one was to save Paula. Oh, geez, martial artist emblem. So we we did that. So now we got to talk to Skell about the Great Escape. This was where this whole thing building up was so we could find a section that we could shut down the drone swarms to get some people off the island and get some reinforcements hey, Jace, on. We made sure that back door is staying open. And the programs? Bitch of a warden is forcing them to work. Most of them got away. Most. And the others? The others are God. dead, Jace. No more, all right. We have what we need. All right, so apparently that's the end of Act 3 completed. I don't remember seeing Act 1 and 2, but... <laughs> that's weird. We're at the end of Act 3. All right. So, that's it? Let's talk to him again? Establish a plan into the wolf's den. Now, We're these wolf guys... Fox received a recording from his source. I, I'm not sure, but I think it could help. All right, we're going to go talk it? to Maurice. Play the recording. We're going to go talk to Maurice. So, that, uh, it's interesting. So, we're at the end of Act 3, it says. New mission. Okay, so, Rosebud. This is a person that was sent out to hunt down the programmers I was looking for. And I would imagine a named character like Rosebud, just like Flycatcher, will probably have some kind of special weapon. So we're going to definitely go after that individual. So this is interesting part I want to look at here. So see, this is broken. Story completion zero. Right? Almost 40 hours of playtime. And... I just hit the end of Act 3, so <laughs> I guess you can't go off of that. Um, well, where... Isn't he usually over here? Why isn't he giving me an indication? An eye for an eye. I'm supposed to listen to the thingy. So here's Paula. Here's Paula that we rescued. Here's Jace, and over in that place is supposed to be... Uh, Maurice. Oh, I'm using that. Well, where's Maurice at? He, he's having me look at a laptop. I, I don't have much time. One of Walker's lackeys, one of the wolves, he, Walker beat him severely. Others have been killed. I, I don't know if they were deserting, if they were traitors. I don't know why Walker did that. That wolf, he 
knows something. He must. He was spotted near Ancient Harbor. You have to hurry. Ancient Harbor, huh? Okay. Into the wolf's den. It's a sub-objective. Talk to the wolf who deserted. Okay. So that's a sub-objective. And it's 11 kilometers that way. Interesting. So we got some things that... Here it is over here. Oh, there... Okay, so we're... Okay, so... He re rewards us a Zestava M93. So Zestava is a Yugo company. The Zestavas. It's a sniper. I mean... And headshot expert. It's a something. It's a patch or something. So we definitely get that. And then... So we have another person. So we have Silverback to get, which is has a KSG. We have Rosebud to get, which is a sniper. And then here's the deserter. Now, I was over here before. This was an, a region um, that I haven't done anything in other than I flew over here and I unlocked some of these fast travel points at this... Um, Oh, I take that back. This is where I just did that ridiculous mission to save some programmers. There was a behemoth site down here, right here, that I got the M4 blueprint. And I'm using the M4 now. It's not that good. All right, look it. So I was able to actually unlock this travel point here, but it's across the water. Yeah, we'll go over there and see what's going on. We got to get a move on. Can't sit in here all damn day. So interesting, very interesting. Um, this region here... I found just by searching around somewhere down down here I think right here no there's a power plant down here an Aurora power plant I think it was down in this region here it's got to be this no channels port some really cool looking like there was a power plant and um, some really neat looking uh, ports all right, we're going to see if... Can we hoof it over there? Is this the power plant? No. Not right where I'm at, right? It is. Well, it's one of them. The Oceanic Power Plant. So there's a power plant here. There's another one um, back over this way somewhere. It just looked really neat. Oh, there's another one of those. It looked really neat. It was right on the coast like that one. So we got to get across here. Is there any boats down here? We gotta head into here to this ancient stuff. Easily fight our way over here. It's not that wide. We could swim it. We could swim it. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's hoof it. Anyway, I've been having a lot of fun, you guys, with this game. Um, just to kind of while we're while we're doing cardio life right now, running. Uh, tell you that I've been M4 has got a lot of recoil. One Unomas. Those are the wolf those are wolf guys too. So the wolf guys are much harder. They have they have armor on for sure. They have armor on, so you, even with the headshots, it takes a little bit more. Anyway. So I've been having a lot of fun with the game, uh, not only making this playthrough for you guys and trying to pick and choose the missions that I that I do and show. Um, like I said, a lot of the main missions, they're they're kind of shoot, shoot, I can't stop slide. They're kind of ter tertiary, you know, they're secondary to uh, to actually being a main mission. They're not really main missions. I just got to wait for him to, to pick some stupid little spot to rest in. So, been doing a lot of solo stuff. Did some streaming stuff with it. And I tell you what, there was a mission that I ended on streaming that I failed like six times in a row. And it was after I rescued some guys. One of them had to drive a vehicle. And I had to ride, you know, shotgun on the gunner seat up top. And the gun totally blows. Like the... the um, Gatling gun, it's terrible. You got to kind of burst it. All right, so Red Shark Outposts. 
pistol, whatever. Just pick the pistol. And it, I, they kept, a sniper or something kept blowing up the vehicle at the exact same spot about, I don't know, three quarters of the way through the mission every single time. It's like there was nothing I can do. I can't get out. Once you're in it, you're in it. It was ridiculous. So finally, I brought in a helicopter. I started the mission, but before I jumped in the vehicle, I took off in the helicopter because I knew the path by now. That's a bunch of them. I knew the pathway, and I took the pathway, took out the checkpoints, took out the wolf snipers, and then it just drove right through. But the ridiculous thing about that is you shouldn't have to do that. I mean, if that was their intention, cool. I don't think it was their intention to do that, though. I don't think it was their intention to have you start a mission, fly ahead, do not fast travel back. They, the snipers almost took out my helicopter. It was totally smoking, and I had to fly back. Because if you would fast travel, um, I would imagine it would reset everything that you just did. So I did not fast travel. And it worked. It was the only way. I did look. I saw you know a post on Reddit about it. People were saying that it was total BS, that you had to do that, but that was the only way they were able to complete it. I know Omega Phoenix was able to do it legit, go straight through it. But I'm telling you, no matter what I did, at the same point after I passed this, right in the second checkpoint, I was getting sniped by wolf snipers out in the distance. And it was the exact same spot. After 10 times in a row, you know something's wrong. So I, I had to do something. I had to do something about it. Let's see if we can see anybody else. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Is that him right there? There is a buttload of the wolf guys over there. This isn't good. These, Like I said, these guys are pretty good. They're really accurate. They're a lot more accurate than the normal, normal dudes. And... They're a little bit harder to kill. I'm telling you this. I guess you're right. I love me some M4, but they made it a little bit hard to tame in this game. It's it's not like that. I even went specifically and because I had the blue the the location of the blueprint for a triple laser sight to put on there, which was supposed to help with accuracy. <sighs> it it goes the bullet patterns up and to the right, up and to the right if you go hold it full auto. So I've got to be, I'm pretty sure there he is. I got to, I got to rescue this dude without these other guys. So we're probably going to have to swim somewhere away from these dudes. So remember, we can't shoot from the water, which I think you should be able to like use your pistol from the water. You should be able to use your pistol from the water. You can't, at least I haven't found a way. There's no indication on the screen and no button I push makes it happen. But in a game like this, you know, kind of spe special operations, you know, tier one operator, SEALs, Delta, all that fun. What? All that kind of fun stuff. Um, you're too far from the deserter. I, I just got here. What the heck are they talking about? Dude, if this thing fails me, I'm gonna punch somebody. Um, you should be able to shoot from the water after all that being said. Oh, G36C. I do like the G36C usually in these games, but I think I used one early on, and it seemed to be uh, low power. Oh, shoot. Okay, it made the, the bonk sound like I did a headshot. It, like he was wearing armor, which he was, but it looked like it killed. Get that off my screen. Thank you. All right. I can see at least five right now, and I know there was another one walking around. This is where that diversion lure would come in real handy, but I'm telling you guys, it doesn't work for crapola. Look at the wind blowing his, his little skirt up. He's going to find that dead body. I'll try... I'll, leaving. I'll try and use the diversion lure again. Right in the middle of a fight. Hey, let's investigate this little book we got here. Imagine with a small magazine you would be able to uh, reload leaving. faster. Uh. 
See, the diversion lure, I know I shot, but the diversion lure does not work at all. What the? Dude, for the first time ever, my cover was... It, it would block it like that before, but it wouldn't, uh... It wouldn't, um... Prevent my bullets from going through. So that's a little buggy. It's a little buggy. Watch, I go try to collect all these things before talking to him. And it's like, you've gone too far away. Please repeat the process. No, I'm going to go talk to him. So I know I made that look not that difficult, but you could, I don't know if you could tell how careful I was being because they are, they're difficult. If everyone here was not, was uh, wolf soldiers and not just sentinels, the sentinel soldiers are like, pfft, you know, what are you going to call them? Uh, Second-rate mercenaries, but the wolf guys seem to be cut from the same teeth of uh, some pretty decent, not decent as in. Hold on, let's hear. Now, aren't you looking riled? Are you running from somebody or to somebody? Laugh all you can. Have you thrown down with that son of a bitch, Walker? I will be. A few weeks back, he caught some of us breaking the rules. Did you guys uh -oh. ever hear the rule breakers? Where a little not like Walker's not a rule breaker. The forest. But this time, she's read the fairy tale. So she brings a really, really big gun. <laughs> what are the, these programmers so that are drunk partying with them? And what do you know? Big bad wolf. Because alcohol brings out some real douchiness in people. And I'm gonna screw you all night Oh yeah! Hey, hey, Will. So little red pulls out her gun. She hikes up her skirt, and she says, "No way." <laughs> You're gonna eat me, just like the fairy tale. <laughs> Attention! Y'all having fun? Wolves, huh? The elite. Best of the best. But here you are. You drunk. Fraternizing with civilians. And how about you, you pathetic piece of shit? You just let that woman take your weapon. And point it at you. We were just... We're just trying to relax, sir. <laughs> Well, shit. I like his knife. That's a good mount for it. I would not want to get in the way of you trying to relax. And the pistol's not loaded, sir. Oh, he's going to pull the trigger on somebody. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. He won't even check the chamber. Even though there is a loaded chamber indicator on it. Yep. I knew it. That's called foreshadowing. I have to say, it sure shit seems loaded to me. What do you think? You think you belong in my wolves? You think you belong on my battlefield? Well, let's see. Let's see. I would have went straight for the for the punch, not the gun. He's getting the, getting pretty good on him. Not that guy. Oh, oh, that he's dead. He's dead. I guess they don't deserve to be wolves. He's 
dead. He got rescued by the drunk girl. Oh, I thought I was fast. I've never seen a man move that fast. If I hadn't run, I'd be dead. He killed the others. No court martial. He's got a habit of killing his own men because we witnessed it. Yeah, he's got so a habit of killing his own men. He sure holds us to a high standard. He moved house after that little incident. Walker's a guy with a very clear idea of what an American soldier should be. No, 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 no. Not That's an American soldier. That's not the only soldier. line you crossed. What's Walker's plan? You'll find the answers you're looking for in the Wolves HQ. It's to the south. It's called Shark Base. I'm only telling you this so that my friends don't have to hunt you down. Have fun dying. Oh, you're a tough guy, huh? huh? Spare me. No, <laughs> oh, you're not so tough now, are you? So they can hunt you down. What I was saying about the way his knife is mounted. Um, so you want to have just like your your sidearm your rifle, the way you sling your rifle, the way you holster your sidearm, whether it's drop leg or belt mounted or even vest mounted, plate carrier mounted, you want to have access to it, right? So a lot of times you'll see, you'll see the guys mount their knife kind of up on their breast pocket, like, like kind of how like a, where you'd put a pen and that type of mounting, you have to reach up, grab the handle and pull up. It's, it's very unnatural movement with it angled with the handle down and pointing kind of toward where your sidearm would be drop leg holstered like you can see here you could just kind of come off your pistol reach up grab that oh nice nice mp5 grab that pull it straight down and to the right and you're you know you've got your your weapon at that point so it's not the easiest thing to to get a sheath for the knife that you like uh, and have it mount like that. That's why so many of them mount them vertically up and down with the handle up. And that's just, it's just, if you got to get to it in a hurry, forget about it. It's not going to happen. Now, if it's there just to, just to cut rope or something, well, that's a different story. But it's usually there if you either run out of ammo, you go close quarters, hand to hand, you drop your pistol like a moron, you know, something like that. You're going to go, you're going to go with the blade technique. You want that, you want to be able to deploy it quickly. So in that case, I don't think I have any anything mounted on me here. In that case, you want to have your favorite knife, the knife you like to use. You're going to have to custom, usually custom make some sort of sheath or holster for your knife so you can get that deployed quickly. All right. So they're saying that... The, the actual, we now he gave us intel on the Wolf's headquarters. It's in a place called Shark Base. Investigate Walker's plan. It's right next to a behemoth defense area. This is, here's the Windy Islands. I think this, this is that island we went to before. So we've flown here. It's, you know, it's very interesting to me. Like if you, again, look at the layout of this, think of whatever country you're from. I'll say the United States. It's like, why is Washington, D.C. where it's at? Why is certain military bases where they're at? Why is New York and Los Angeles and why is Dallas? Why are things who decided that out of all the places, this area here would be a good place to put their headquarters? Why is this the location of the parliament? Why is Skell's estate and a lot of his office buildings here in Infinity over here, right? It's like of all places, why here? And the parliament's down here. Why is this headquarters here? It's, it's interesting. And you're curious all at the same time. It's, I don't know if I, <laughs> I got my, I mean, that's 200 plus kind of saying, maybe you shouldn't be down here. You can see I haven't been down here at all. I, I unlocked this probably by air, but there's the base. Shark base though into the wolf den. So obviously it goes underneath. Maybe this had a natural cave, and that's why they selected it. But there's a SAM site here, so we're not going to be flying over it. 
the meantime, maybe we could go after... Oh, I don't know. Maybe Rosebud? Maybe we could go after Rosebud over here. And he's in this place here. Let's get over there and see what's going on. But do you guys ever wonder that, like... I know this is a video game, but when you... You try and open your mind a little bit and think in terms of reality. It's like, why... Why did the... I'm gonna... I'm gonna rest real quick, you guys. Oh, not, not, oh, I did that too soon. Here we go. Uh, you know, like, why? Why is it? Probably because they needed to spread out um, important things in the game around the island. Okay, that would be the most logical. Let's go at 8.22 in the morning. Oh, 800. That would be the most logical. But to me, it, it they just seem weird. Like, where Scales place is is weird in comparison to that, like, that parliament building is, is pretty trick. All right, we got to go over there. And that is that facility there. Where's my heli? All right, check. It wants us to check our intel here. Investigate Walker's plan. Oh, look at it. Okay, it's right there. That's the shark base. Crazy. Get rid of that. Two main missions for Walker. We got Rosebud, and this is what we're going after now. Rosebud. Okay. Now, where's my heli? It is over here. There it is. I can see it. I think we'll just fly over there instead of hoofing it, because we'd have to walk down through this valley, but it's over there. Get an overhead view of it. Maybe we'll get shot down. Hey, either way. Um, the helis are definitely different and harder. They're harder to kind of utilize as a good tool in this compared to Wildlands. You know, before I could strafe really good. I could get this right on target. Now they're just kind of sloppy. They're sloppy in air. All right, so Rosebud may not be here just like those other ones you know we'd go to an area and then it would say oh no he's down there and then go over there we're gonna go check this out i was gonna land on this upper peninsula thingy up here this plateau there's a lot of fools here oh i hear some i hear some uh Dronage. Come on. Wow, that little fellow was loud, wasn't he? I knew it. Okay, so the problem with the drones are they alert everybody to, you, to your presence. That guy's inside, of course. There goes the Skell Credits guy. Leaving as usual. He is way over there. Holy cow. All right. They're coming in. My luck, they'll come in up here on the same plateau. That truck over there is a convoy for a gun. Oh, here they come. Don't land on my heli. Don't land on my heli. Thank you. Alright. Yes, we are, uh... They know we're coming. So hard to spot anything by eye. I would imagine, yeah, I would imagine they're gonna start working their way up here. Ah, shoot. Getting shot a lot, but I had to take... I'm actually not running Panther right now. I'm running... Oh, they got mortars. I'm running uh, Assault. And the only reason I'm running Assault is because I thought that would help me complete that mission. And it didn't. Didn't make a difference because they were killing my vehicle, not me. So I don't know how many um, civilians are down here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a chance. Oh, they broke my windscreen. Take a chance and shoot some rockets down here. And lock onto that thing. See how touch I'm like barely moving my my mouse. That thing's 
done. I think it was annoying as all get go. I was trying to lock on something right there to the right. Something over here? Was there a guy down there? When they light up, that is delicious for me. Still didn't kill that heavy. He's got extra armor on, though. There we go. That's a direct impact there. Okay, so with the amount... There's nothing, like, indicating here. The amount of... Is that a dude standing there? That's the guy I sniped, right? I don't see any indicators, so that means I'm probably going to have to search this place, get some intelligence, and then go find him somewhere else. Oh, there he is. Did I get the double on that? Is that another guy right there? Yeah, there was. It's like one more dude. There's more than one. Someone just sniped me. That kind of hit there is a sniper rifle. This guy's protected by this tree. Oh, jeez. Oh, got him. Did the little spin flick move like I was sniping. Right, I still see someone else down there. At least one. There's still a lot of people here. A laser rangefinder right there. I still think that the hit markers are backward. I was getting hit from over there and it the red thing came from behind me. That's why I always spin and look the wrong way. lure down there that doesn't work. That might have been the guy shooting at me, not one of those. Oh, no, it is a turret. I'm trying to spot it over there. It's just got a, a nasty angle on me. Is that it there? Little M4 action, you guys. Can't really send up my drone to see it, but it's it's over there somewhere, and it's got it's got a wicked angle on me. Get them, God damn it! Big boy coming up. Unless it was him again. It's another. Seemed like it was over here somewhere. But that is another big dude coming up, so. It's possible it was him. You hear his footsteps? Get them, God damn it. He stopped walking up. Get them, sons of bitches. Where'd he go? He stopped walking up. So, I, I imagine I have to go grab some of this intel. So we're looking for this rosebud, dude. There Was there not a guy walking up here? We saw him on our drone.
there he is. Get those sons of bitches! I think his head just fell off. Hello. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. I'm looking for someone. Someone dangerous. A wolf sniper named Rosebud. She's out here hunting survivors. Oh, it's a lady. You heard anything about her? I promise. If I could tell you more, I would. Thanks, stranger. It's a lady, you guys. All right. All right, so we got to get more info. Inside the building there. How far over is this crate? Get the, let's go get the info. I can clear these crates up on my own. I'm gonna find a way in here. I swear that guy was walking up the stairs. Is that the entrance there? Intel, second floor. I can't wait to see the wolf headquarters. That should be pretty crazy. Gonna have to really dial in a, a gun that I like. Like, as much as, I mean, I love the M4 in real life. It's a go-to, but it's a go-to for accuracy, and it's not giving that to me in here. And it's not even as powerful as the P90 or some of those SMGs, which is crazy. Need to have a talk with Ubisoft. Okay, so hasty email. May, we managed to escape Sentinels after us. They call it Rosebud's tracking us. Please come help us. I think the sniper's got to hide out somewhere in the wild coast. All right. So apparently we got info that, <laughs> of course, Rosebud is not here. But is at the wild coast. Is there any indication? Did I, did I not point down there? I pointed down there. I said, oh, they'll be down there. There was some kind of tower looking thing. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this facility. Make my way down here. We'll start next next episode here. Because the last time we took on Flycatcher, it was pretty crazy. There was a lot of uh, wolves and stuff and, and got that special gun. That should be pretty cool. So you guys still enjoying the series, please consider hitting the like button. Leaving me a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next episode.